I'm really crying. Wow, Robin, a crybaby. What do you know? Park Jin Young. It's so cringy. 안녕하세요, 여러분. 저는 Robin이라고 합니다. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your girl Robin, and welcome back. And well, I have been stuck on what to upload for you guys because I want to upload new content, but I don't know what type of new content. But then all of a sudden, you know, I was just casually watching Jin Young's drama, the last two episodes, and decided that I'm gonna do a recap and a review and just tell you guys how much I have been emotionally affected by this drama and how Jin Young needs to pay for my <laughs> bills to go see the doctor now for my mental st stability because <laughs> that's not here anymore. <laughs> Just kidding, but I mean Janelle if you want to you know you can hit me up like DM me on fucking Instagram oh, Shut up Robin. So yeah, hi. It is 1 13 in the morning and I just got done finishing the last two episodes of Janelle's drama When my love wounds or Hwa Yang Yong Hwa in Korean and I'm emotionally not okay. I feel like that with every single drama that I've watched with Jin Young's, but this one was hit me a little bit different than all the ones in the past. So, I will admit though, Psychometry Kunyosop, or He is Psychometric, that one hit me in home different types of ways because it literally gives you like mind, like, I try not to curse, but I have to. It literally gives you mind fuck staring at Psychometry Kunyosop. Whereas with When My Love Blooms, it gives you different types of mind fucks because it's in a different aspect. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna talk about it because you know, <laughs> why not? <laughs> I need a video. As well as, a lot of you guys have been wondering how I've been thinking or what I think about the drama and uh, my overall review, so here we go. That's that's this. So for those of you who haven't watched, basically the pro plot line is, and there's not gonna be any spoiler alerts, but uh, basically the plot line is, is a love that started back in college for the main characters. A lot of stuff has happened and then 20 years later they have remet. And a lot of interesting things have happened like uh, going to jail, business, uh, divorce, like it covers everything. <laughs> and I'm just like, like everything in nowadays time. And I'm just like, huh? And it gives you a look into how fucked up businesses are and can be if they don't follow right rules or regulations and how it could be costly of someone's career and I think it's so interesting to get that side of everything because I typically don't watch dramas like that but obviously with this one being with Jin Young I had to fucking watch it because I mean I don't have a cushion of got to Jin Young for no reason so yeah it's a really cool drama, but it's very frustrating. <laughs> like, out of all the dramas I have watched, and I'm not saying that I watch every drama out there, because I don't watch dramas often, but out of all the dramas I've watched, this is definitely the most frustrating one next to Distance of the Sun, because that one was also very frustrating, if I remember correctly. Uh, oh, and Cheese in the Trap, those are also very frustrating. Um, but this is probably the most frustrating one I've ever seen. Um, also, I found out that I am a huge crybaby and that whenever Jin Young cries, I'm prone to cry too. And if something's like, if I can like relate to something, I also cry. <laughs> like if I can relate to something or like see the pity in it, I cry. I'm a crybaby apparently. But yeah, it's a very interesting drama. It shows you kind of like the behind the scenes of what could down in the company if it's not run properly and that's just really fucking cool. It also gives you a look and how difficult it is to to get over a divorce as well as um, how to come out of that. It's really it's really interesting but obviously you have the villains. One of them I don't agree with what happened to him at all but we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> but yeah it's a really good drama. Now film wise as you know I am in the film industry, you know, that's what I'm getting my major in, that's what I'm getting my bachelor's in in December. Oh my god, this drama is beautifully filmed and edited. It's so amazing. The ending of the drama is so beautiful. I'm trying not to sneeze again, that's why I'm making weird faces. The last scene of the drama is incredibly beautiful because it just shows the transition to from 
younger, the younger version of them to the older version of them that you're seeing present day. And it's just, oh my god. <laughs> it's so beautifully edited. I love it. Some surprises within the drama. I think my main one is that Byunghyun, for those of you who do not know, Byunghyun also went by the stage name of Eljo. And he used to be in Teen Top before he left in 2017. He's in this drama. <laughs> and for those of you who know me as being a huge Teen Top stan, I lost my shit the first episode when I saw him because I heard his voice I was like, that voice sounds familiar and then it showed up Byunghyun and I lost my shit. I actually went over to my sister's apartment which is about 10-15 minutes away from my house. I went to my sister's apartment and I stayed there for about 3 hours to cope that Jin Young and Byunghyun were going to be in the same drama because it's basically Goss7 and Team Talk together and I hardly ever get that interaction. So I was like losing my shit. But another shock in this is how adorable the kids are in the drama that play the main character's kids. They are so freaking cute. And for the actress, her son is adorable. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's her actual son or not, but he's adorable, the most pure thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my God. <laughs> it's adorable. And it's just the whole storyline. Like I didn't know what it was about when I went into it, obviously, because like the, but the whole storyline shocked me because I didn't think it would be so business-based, but it is. And, you know, me being in the film industry, I don't know much about businesses, like huge businesses, and what really goes on. I'm wanting to be a video editor, so I don't know that much. And so to get a uh, look inside of that, that's really fucking cool. It was a stressful roller coaster watching that drama. And, oh my god, I think, I'm pretty sure I cried every episode, if not almost every single episode which says a lot. Well, well it doesn't really, because I cried every single episode of Psychometric Kunyosog or Hia Psychometric. I cried every single episode on that one, because that one's just sad. Um, but it's very interesting. It's a very interesting love story, and it's really dang good. So I actually have pictures of some quotes in the drama, but I'm just gonna share my favorite one. The quote that means a lot to me that I uh, took a screenshot is, is which basically translates to for a million years everyone's love shall bloom. That is adorable. <laughs> I love it. I love just, I don't know, that quote just really spoke to me when I saw it and I had to take a picture of it because I was like, I need to remember this. And yeah, some other quotes that I find really funny is uh, because because we're together, or because we're together, depends on how you use it in a sense. And then the most famous one <laughs> that I'm going to say when I meet Jin Young, <laughs> except whenever I meet him, I'm going to say, Park Jin Young. <laughs> He's gonna hate me. <laughs> but basically, it means there you are, Yoon Jisoo, or there you are, Park Jin Young. When I meet Jin Young, I'm gonna say that. <laughs> I'm definitely saying that. Park Jin Young. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna hate me after that. But that is the most memorable quote out of the whole thing, because almost every single episode, somewhere that quote is implanted in it. And I think it's so funny and so cute at the same time, because Jin Young's the one that says it. <laughs> So now, cause like, on one of my Polaroid pictures that my friend gave me of Jin Young, I put 사랑하는 uh, 진영아 because he was in a drama called 사랑하는 운동아. And so I said 사랑하는 진영아. <laughs> so now when I meet Jin Young, cha 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 He's gonna hate me, but it's okay. Life already hates me anyway, but. <laughs> but yeah, it is a very interesting drama. If you guys want to see like a love story that has blossomed within like a long amount of time like this is like over 20 years um as well as just want it inside of the business industry and what could happen or what actually typically does happen nowadays it's really really cool to watch most of the terms like i know korean so watching it i didn't really look at the subs too often but when it came to the business terms i had to look at the subs because i was like i don't understand this at all <laughs> like i didn't understand any of the words i was like it's a really good drama. Jin Young's acting has improved so much. Boy needs to stop making me cry every episode though because I be crying like a bitch. Um, 
And yeah, it's just really good. I'm happy it's over though, because now I don't have to worry about what's gonna happen next episode and I have to wait a whole week. <laughs> what's gonna happen next episode? Yeah. Oh, it's an emotional roller coaster watching dramas and I completely forgot about that. But yeah, I just wanted to come on camera and talk to you guys about Janome's drama um, because it's beautiful and amazing and you guys should go watch it. And yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, become a normal day. Be sure to follow me on social media and I'll see you all in the next video. Annyeong!